Hey there, it's Kristen, and I'm here just hanging out with my snapping turtle pal, Chilidra serpentina, scientific name, to talk about what turtles do in winter. So humans, you know, we know we bundle up. What does a turtle do? Um, so turtles like this, uh, they actually spend the winter nestled in the bottom of lakes and ponds, kind of in the mushy sediments. So they stay under there all winter under the ice. Now, the question is, how do they breathe? If one of us spent the whole winter under ice, that would be a problem. But the turtle has kind of a cool superpower. They can breathe actually using their butts. So there's a special area on the turtle's body right beneath the tail, what we would call the butt, in, you know, maybe. Um, it's called the cloaca. And this is an area that has lots of blood vessels, which are like our arteries and veins. When the water passes over that area, it can exchange oxygen and carbon dioxide, much like gills on a fish with the surrounding water. So they can take up oxygen that way, which is pretty amazing. Now, there's a lot of animals living beneath the ice in winter. There's fish, there's turtles, there's frogs. At some point, oxygen levels under the ice get really low. Sometimes there is no oxygen there. And then these guys do something really fascinating, which is they switch over to what's called anaerobic respiration. So when we're breathing in and out, we're breathing oxygen, that's aerobic respiration. Now we do anaerobic respiration sometimes too to supplement our normal respiration. If you think of if you're sprinting really hard and then you start getting aches in your muscles and that's the lactic acid building up there because your body just undertook some extra non-oxygen related respiration to give you that extra energy. And respiration is just what our body does to produce energy. As ectotherms or what we would call cold blooded animals Basically, their energy output reflects the temperature around them. So they don't need or produce a lot of energy when the temperatures are low. So they're just fine doing, um, you know, either the cloacal breathing res uh, or doing the anaerobic respiration. But you can imagine when they do kind of wake up more in the spring, they start moving around, the ice is out they probably have what feels like a great big muscle cramp in their whole body because of uh, all that anaerobic respiration that was happening. So these snapping turtles, painting turtles, a lot of our local turtles, um, once we start getting a little bit of uh, ice starting to form on our lakes and ponds, that's where these guys will be down under the water.